We are back at Indian Acres and we are going to look at Indian Acres in its entirety. By the time this video is over, you're gonna know everything there is to know about Indian Acres. There are hundreds of property for sale at Indian Acres and I'm here to help you to determine if being here is the right call for you. Most folks at Indian Acres use a golf cart as their primary mode of transportation. It's not mandatory, but if you plan to buy a property here, you should prepare yourself to buy one and they can set you back as much as $2,500 for a used golf cart. The largest lake at Indian Acres is Pocahontas Lake. We're gonna head out on a kayak and take a look around. The Acres has several other lakes and other bodies of water, but you can dump all those lakes and waters into this lake and still have room. That's how large this lake is. There are loads of property for sale at Indian Acres. Some sell for as little as a dollar. However, none of those are going to be on a lake. If you wanna buy a lakeside property, be prepared to spend $20,000 on up just for the plot of land. For folks with landlocked property at the Acres, there are public boat launch areas as well as public fishing areas. Using a golf cart may be the primary mode of transportation, but it's by far not the only way to get around. If you have kids like I do, they're gonna spend a lot of time at the pool and Indian Acres has three different pool options to choose from. The pool you're looking at right here in the video is the largest of the three pools. What we're in right now is of course the shallow section, but there is a deeper section that goes down several feet. Unfortunately, there is no diving board at any of the pools. Lounge chairs are available. It's a first come first serve basis and there's no extra cost for that. Bringing in holidays is a big deal at Indian Acres and people go all out to celebrate. And the holidays are when you're gonna find the most people at Indian Acres. Some people like having a lot of people around, other people like it when it's not holidays and it's a lot more solitude. What you're looking at right now are a hundred of golf carts lined up to parade down Main Street for the 4th of July parade. If you want to know more about how Indian Acres brings in holidays, check out my channel. That's because there is a specific video that deals with the 4th of July and everything Indian Acres does to celebrate that holiday. All along the parade route, you will see kids line the streets, and that's because the drivers of the golf cart throw candy at him. So adults like it, kids like it, fun for everyone. If you're wondering who are the people who come to Indian Acres and make it their vacation home, for the most part, you're looking at blue collar workers, your average working day Joe, and they come with their families and they just wanna get away from work and they wanna have a good time, celebrate the holidays and spend time with loved ones and family. I have seen fireworks show in major metropolitan cities all across the United States and I can say with confidence nothing comes close to what happens at Indian Acres largely because you're right on top of the fireworks and it is awesome.
If you have kids, they are gonna spend a lot of time in the rec center. So let's head on over and check it out. One of the things that I really like about the rec center is that practically everything in there, with the exception of the arcade and the vending machine, is absolutely free. Another concern I have was that the rec center was going to be packed. This is about as packed as you'll ever see it. This is on 4th of July weekend. The process for doing activities is simple. You show your membership or guest card, you get your rackets, your tennis balls, or whatever it is you want to do, and then you play. At the end, you return the item, they give you back your card. This is what the rec center typically look like. You'll have one or two families that are there, and for the most part, it's empty. So you're not gonna have people all on top of each other wanting to do things and not having a turn and all that kind of stuff. You pretty much have full ring. That's my dog on the bottom right hand part of the screen. And oftentimes when I go on vacation, I have to leave my dog behind. However, at Indian Acres, they love having pets. So bring your pets, they are welcomed. Between the pool and the rec center is one of Indian Acres playground and this playground caters for kids who are under 10 years old and this just is a highlight reel to show you what some of the apparatuses they have there look like. This is another playground located on a large field and as you can see, it's pretty spread out. A lot of folks come to Indian Acres to connect with family, but also to get away from the city, get away from the hustle and bustle, to kind of slow down, relax, and enjoy and absorb nature. They have a nature trail, and what you're looking at here are some of the images of that trail, and it is absolutely spectacular. It runs right along the Po River, and it's only a half mile long, and you will not regret trying out this trail. Indian Acres does have a sportsman club. I have not joined this club. It is largely made up of men who like to fellowship and get together at dinner and other social events. They do have a range and here's what the range looks like. A lot of folks who visit the Acres do so while traveling across country. They have fifth wheel and campers and this is what the parking lot looks like for their campers. On my channel, I do several interviews with people who own property at Indian Acres. And the number one reason why they enjoy the Acres is because of the fellowship and opportunities they have to spend with family members. This is my property at the Acres, and it, oftentimes family and get together revolves around food, a campfire, sharing stories, talking about times we were together as a family when the kids were younger, you know, my hopes and dreams for them as they get older. And this, 
in my opinion, captures what the essence of Indian Acres is all about. It's just spending time together as a family and enjoying the scenery and the environment. At the Acres, there are tons of things to see and do. And I just wanna give you in the next couple of minutes a collage of options of fun things that you and your family and your kids can get involved in. And it helps you to reconnect, build bonds, and just spend good quality, fun family time together. I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about some practical things about being at the Acres like food, laundry, shower, bathroom, that kind of stuff. There is a general store at the Acres. It is the only convenience store on the Acres property ground and the closest one you can get to. You can get practical things in here. It's very similar to a 7-Eleven. There are bathrooms and shower stalls spread all throughout the acres. For a campground shower stall, it's in pretty good condition and they do have hot water. There is an outdoor church that's in the woods and they do have services on Sunday.
I saved the worst for last. The thing I dislike the most about being at the Acres is that you have to dispose of your human body waste into that hole right there. Also, some of the locations are not well kept and they look like a human trash heap as you're seeing on the screen right now. Is Indian Acres a good fit for you, for your lifestyle, for your needs? Please let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching this video. And it's my goal to get you and inspire you to go out and see the world. So let's go see it.